Hello, this is Mrs. Mendy, and today I'm going to tell you about reading scientific instruments. Now, some of these are going to be uh, obvious to you, and that's cool. We're just going over it just in case. Here's one that's probably really obvious is rulers and meter sticks. They measure length. Okay, now just a little review. Remember that as you're looking between two numbers, so you can see here that this uh, this tadpole it's somewhere between five and six centimeters and I know it's centimeters here so here's the halfway mark this like slightly longer one so that's 5.5 one more is 5.6 okay so this tadpole is 5.6 centimeters long and remember centimeters is little c little m Graduated cylinders measure volume. Uh, beakers, which is this thing here, which kind of looks like a measuring cup. Beakers also measure volume, but not as precisely. Okay, so graduated cylinders, we're gonna go in depth on that a little bit more because they're a little bit tricky. Here's some reasons why. Liquids in glass don't stay flat. They tend to climb up the sides or kind of creep down the sides. So you get this bowl shape, or you get sort of a dome shape. And mostly what we're gonna see is a bowl shape because that's what water-based things do. You read the bottom of the curve and that's called the meniscus. So the bottom of that little bowl shape, that's where we're saying that, uh, where to read that, okay? So right at the bottom of the curve. Also, if you're doing this, your eye has to be at the level of the meniscus. Okay, otherwise you'll be looking at the wrong part of the curve and it will tell you wrongly. So what you have to do is put the graduated cylinder on a flat surface, like on the table, and then you actually crouch down so that your eye is at, at that same level and you just gotta do it. So here you can see this meniscus is right at the top of this line. Now here's the tricky part different sizes of graduated cylinders have different marks okay so all these little marks they're not worth the same thing all the time you have to figure out how much each mark is worth here's how you do it so on this one this green one you can see these parts that you can tell what they are so this is 70 milliliters and 60 milliliters so you know that between 70 milliliters and 60 milliliters it's got to be 10 milliliters because 70 minus 60 is 10. Okay. And looking at these little marks, there are 10 little marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay. So if you take that 10 milliliters, divide it by the 10 marks, that means there's one milliliter per mark. So each of those little marks is one milliliter. Okay, now look at this different one. Now between here and here, between five and four, that's one milliliter. Let me get a pointer so I can show you this better. There we go. Okay, so here's five milliliters and the big number goes on the big line. Okay, four is here. So it's between five and four milliliters, that's one milliliter. And there are one, two, three, four, five little marks. Okay, one milliliter, five marks. If you take the one milliliter and you divide it by the five marks, that means each little mark counts for 0.2 milliliters. Okay, because one divided by five is 0.2. If you don't believe me, you can check on your phone. Okay, thermometers work like graduated cylinders. Okay, so you have to kind of look and see what are the little marks on there. It's just the same process. The other thing to look out for with thermometers is to watch out for whether it's Fahrenheit F or Celsius C. So make sure you read the one that the question asks for, because you can see that they're not the same numbers. Okay, so let's read this one. All right, so. Looking here at the Celsius side, it's going to be right here. So that's zero Celsius. 
looking here on the Fahrenheit side, it's a little hard to see because these are big increments, but it's somewhere around 30. And I can tell that that's 30 because it's halfway between 20 and 40. So I know that's about 30. Okay? So Celsius is about zero. Um, the Fahrenheit is about 30. Really, it'd be 32, but you can't tell on this. Okay, reading this one. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Okay, so on this side, so if this is 20 here and this is 30 here, halfway between 20 and 30 is about 35. And that's going to be, that's like 35, 36 on this side. On the Fahrenheit side, if this is 60 and this is 80, then this is 70. Okay? And if there's, that means these are each going up by two because there's five little increments. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? And five between 70 and 80, you've got to be counting by twos. Okay? So this is going to be about 25 here and about 78 because it's like two less than 80. Okay? Scales, or if you wanted to be fancy and sciencey, you'd say electronic balances, they are easy to read. It is just the number that's on here, okay? Despite this, despite how easy it is, there are people every year that get this wrong on the test. So this is the easy one. Don't be fooled because it's so easy. Okay? 